Dark Souls 3 is filmed in front of a live studio audience. I'm playing Dark Souls. The fuck is this music? Anyway, uh, let's make a character. Right, name, um, power, strength, uh, you know, reliability. Yep, got it. There we go. Class. Uh, uh, he's a mark. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Just put this over here. And this one. Yep, uh, we got it. I've done it. I've resurrected him. Okay, here we go. Here comes our cool boy. Yeah, look at him. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun, man. Man, I love Dark Souls 1, but it was kind of hard. It's nice to get, a, like, a tutorial level in this one to, you know, learn the ropes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's beautiful. You like it, buddy? <laughs> Fucking grey fog passage doesn't scare me. Come on, bring it on. There's nothing in here. That guy isn't even awake. Here, let me help you out with that there, friendo. Oh, okay then. Go. My time with Dark Souls 3 has shown me that even though games can be very good, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at playing them. I love Dark Souls 1, and played the game through to completion, but unfortunately, I'm shit at games these days and simply cannot play them properly. Why do you think I'm in Hanzo? I'll admit, I was surprised to find the game's final boss after only 20 minutes of playing, but I guess that's what it takes to push the envelope in gaming. Good job, Capcom. All in all, I'd describe Dark Souls 3 the game as a harsh life lesson. If something is too hard, do whatever you can to feel good about it. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>